Hey, Miss Kiki. How are you? I am good. This is my first time. Let me take my glasses off so I can get a good look. <laughs> you look great. Oh, thank you, Mama. I appreciate you. So let's talk about some Alice, honey. I want to know what the pitch was that they came to you. <laughs> yes, I want to know what the pitch was when they came to you and they said, um, we want to do this film. And what was it about what they said that made you say yes? It's so funny you said that because I literally, this is probably the only film, I think, no, this is the only film that I ever got a personal note from the director uh, to talk about how she really saw that I was, or how she saw that I was the only person she could see for the film um, and how, she, you know, the subject matter is intense, but that it's a new telling of a historical element that we have not always been told, mm -hmm. which is that slavery continued past its abolishment uh, up until like the 1950s or 60s. And it was just really intriguing to me, that top line within itself. And then, of course, when I read the script and really understood what was going on, I'm like, oh, my gosh, you know, there's so there's so many nuances here that an actor could really explore um, with this character, Alice, an opportunity to really show this robust female black character. I know that y'all shot on a plantation in the Georgian South. What? did that feel like for you? Did it bring up some stuff for you? Cause I know sometimes I've spoken to people in the past that have shot and down there in some plantations and they felt a little something, something when they were shooting down there. Was that the case for you? Yeah. I think you definitely feel a weight. I think you definitely feel a weight. And I'm a very empathic person. I very much so feed off of energy. So aside from the subject matter and the position that I was emotionally putting myself in, you know, through the dialogue and through the circumstances of the character, um, there were also tons of weight um, that I felt just being on the plantation, which I think is to be expected. You know, you, yeah, I, you, you, you know, as an actor going into a role like this, that they're going to be a cornucopia of like just, uh, you know, things you're going to be battling. You better say cornucopia. Yes. Yes. For the adjectives, girl. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know, I had to say something about the cornucopia. And, <laughs> and I also want to know there's that scene with that metal muzzle. I want to know how long it took to shoot that and how that made you feel. Cause that's a whole, that's a whole nother thing. You were strong, you were strong, very opinionated black woman. So yeah. what was that like for you? That was terrible. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh my gosh. That was terrible. Are you kidding me? Obviously I'm an actress and I know that the, you know, the real me does not exist in that way, but it's sad knowing that your ancestors did. Knowing that someone in your bloodline experienced something so, so soul crushing, um, because this and this is the thing, right? right, right uh, excuse me, this is the thing, right? Like we see in this these kind of films, a slave narrative, a lot of horrendous stuff going down, a lot of what you would consider to be trauma porn, a lot of stuff that's just like unbelievable. And me, just Alice being in that, you know, in that you know, head muzzle is very light in comparison to the kinds of horrors we've seen in some slave narratives. But it only goes to show to me that we don't need all of the trauma porn in order to get across the way that our ancestors were mentally being enslaved. Like the, like to me, the muzzle is, is darker than any of the dramatic stuff that we, you know, the, the kind of shocking stuff we've seen in these slave narratives like that, that when, you know, experiencing that, I'm like, this is enough to express what, you know, the depths of what they experienced, how mentally it could be taxing. Imagining her being out there with that muzzle on for 50 days at a time. I mean, how many days she was there? You know what I mean? Just no food, no water, whatever that, you know what I mean? Just that was enough. You know, I don't need you to go further in this movie and, and, see this horrible display on film like farther than that <laughs> you know what I mean that was enough you know for me well this is my time but before I go I want to just say this to you this was a wonderful vehicle for you it was nice to be able to see you stretch your wings congratulations on your Emmy congratulations on the proud family and I am looking forward so much forward to the next time I get to speak to you thank you so much it was lovely speaking to you all right bye now bye-bye